Okay, you wanna know what I'm really excited about this morning? Do you see? Yes, it's our toilet. Good morning, guys. Mary's in, I'll show you. She's in her <laughs> art desk where she always starts the day. Um, doing her best, doing some reading. I'm sitting here at the kitchen table. I'm getting ready to have an acai bowl. We got these frozen acai bowls. It comes with the granola separate, and you let it sit on the counter for an hour. It defrosts. It's like a smoothie under there, under the granola, and I put some honey on top. Last night, Mary and I finished this puzzle, which was a lot of fun. We did it over the weekend, started it on Friday, finished it Sunday night, and it's all the classic kids' books, which was a lot of fun. We have discovered something about, pu we enjoy puzzles, but one of the things we really enjoy is uh, this brand, White Mountain Puzzles. They have a lot of their puzzle designs are separate things. So this one was really fun, because you can work on a certain section and you aren't like drowning in the vastness of the puzzle. You're just like, okay, I'm getting all the yellow for the Curious George cover and makes it a lot more manageable. So I've got the sprinkler going outside. We planted grass this weekend. And so I've got a timer every 10 minutes this morning. I'm going and moving the sprinkler and just getting some Monday morning work done i've got emails and welcome to another day in the fry life all right the grass is watered and i wanted to show you another thing that i accomplished this weekend and that was refreshing our plant wall last year we got i think these are balloon flowers we really love them in these silver uh boxes although i think maybe i uh uh, I think they're not too happy since, especially this one here. I planted them a couple days ago on this one. I don't know if uh, they were all in the same bucket and I kind of separated them out. That one looks like maybe it didn't survive. But I got a couple of white mums and then I forget what these are, but when you feel them, they're real globally. At least that's what, that's the official term that Mary and I use. And then this guy is a... Uh, the remaining from the plants that were up here it's uh the only one that's still alive and these flowers close up at night and then open up during the day although during the like middle of the summer it was during the day it was just covered with those pink flowers now just a few of them are blooming during the day but anyways it's uh it's fun, we'll, we'll have some green grass out here in a couple of weeks, and it's fun to refresh it f for fall because I feel like fall out here in this yard is the best time. I mean, turn these l ball lights on at night, turn on the fire pit, sit out here by the plant wall. It's delightful. It's always a hard moment to put the puzzle away, but you know, it's our kitchen table, so. Because spent hours and hours and hours doing it? Yeah. It's like, okay, we did it. Now we crumble it up. So the definition, like, so say, you know, Elf or whatever, if Elf came to visit. Okay. And he's not, you know, he's from like a different world. So you have to explain things to him. So he, you're like, do you want to come do this with us? He's like, sure. What are we going to do? And you're like, we're going to sit down for hours and hours and touch pieces of cardboard. <laughs> And we're going to put together a picture, and then we're going to break it back up and put it in a box. <laughs> I guess that's why pe like, some people modge podge their puzzles. Yes. <laughs> and he's like, wait, you do this for fun? <laughs> Is there sugar involved? <laughs> okay, you want to know what I'm really excited about this morning? Do you see? Yes, it's our toilet. We've lived here for about two years. Oh, almost exactly two years. I think it was October that we moved in. We bought it in July. We've wanted, so most of the toilets 
have the slow close like lid and not the one that's downstairs though and it's something we've wanted to do and we're finally doing it we're putting on a new toilet seat <laughs> <laughs> exciting things. I know. Well, we figured we don't want to wake up the baby because did you tell him like because all most of the other ones in the house are slow clothes, yeah. you forget that this one's not and you just drop it. Bam. Yeah. Okay, let's do the last bam. Last one ever. Except that I got it out to do this the other day, like two days ago. And it needed that size wrench, which was not out in the garage, so I got this thing. But anyway, I just couldn't quite figure it out. I guess we needed a screwdriver. So, even though it doesn't say screwdriver. Anyway, Peter's helping me. Get it done. Okay, you ready for this? Look at that. Soft clothes. Quiet as a mouse. Something we like to say here, celebrate the little things, people. Celebrate the little things. So this thing has been happening ever since we moved into our house two years ago. We have a bathroom right here on the first floor with this uh, vanity and the sink in here, after you run the sink, it would always like something in the mechanism of the sink would leak out the water and it would like fill the top of this it never flowed off I had a water sensor on the floor it never was enough water that it kind of flooded out but it would like build up and it kind of had like this oxidized water build up on the edge of here and it's really annoying so every time like I walk by I'd like grab a towel and wipe up the water. And I let that happen for two years that we've had this house. And Mary and I were working on just some house projects today, like replacing the toilet seat. And then as I was finishing that up, I was like, that water issue, let me see if I can fix it. So I took that sink off. Uh, here is the old sink. Uh, or faucet, I should say. I took it off and I couldn't figure out why it was leaking. And Mary and I talked about it and we decided, you know what, it's time to get a new faucet. And I remember when we moved into the house we lived in in Massachusetts, one of the first things we did to kind of spruce up that space was we got a new vanity and sink in the downstairs bathroom, actually in both bathrooms. And it just like made it feel like a fresh space for us. And it was really fun for us to pick out the faucet. And so I was like, Mayor, do you wanna go to the hardware store and pick out a faucet? And so we picked out this, Mary was pretty excited about the gold color and no more leaking out of, this, out of the faucet. And it took me a little bit to get this part was easy to install, hook up the water. For some reason, the uh, drain plug and drain wasn't like, I think it wasn't sitting in the hole right. And so every time I got it on and connected the plumbing underneath, it, was, it would leak underneath of where the water flows out. Anyway, I was able to swap out a couple of parts from the old drain and the new drain to make it fit right and all as well. So, feeling pretty accomplished. It's like we have a brand new bathroom and I think we might keep our eyes out if there's matching hardware to go in here. Because this hardware in here didn't even match the old faucet. Because uh, that's like a brushed, uh, br what do they call it, brushed nickel and this is like a silver, these two. So. I think we're gonna see if we can match those. I don't know, it's not too important to us anyways if we, if they don't have matching ones, but it, I don't know. That was our fun, two fun projects and a new feeling bathroom. <laughs>